Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Here, I have a great article for you guys from The Citizens. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So based on the news today that's now public, Verizon potentially getting a new CEO, T-Mobile being upgraded by big major analysts to outperform the market, it kind of puts AT&T on the wireless side in the very odd position. They're just not too focused on that side anymore. And now that Verizon is potentially getting a new CEO that could shake shake some stuff up in the industry, T-Mobile continuing to be as competitive as they are, cable coming in as aggressive as they are, it just puts AT&T in a very odd position. So what does AT&T do? They celebrate expanding fiber. That's where they're pivoting. That's their new revenue stream, their new avenue avenue to profits. That's what they're doing. So it's going to be very tough for them to, to really combat any further aggressive competition on wireless. The network is going to keep expanding for AT&T due to FirstNet and the, and the contract obligation. But if you're looking for better density, better indoor coverage from the density, that may be some, some years away for AT&T. AT&T right now with C-Band, at least from, from what's being tracked, they're focused on city limits. They want to deploy it in the city limits as fast as they can. And I'm hearing moving outside of the city limits with C-Band and DOD has been, you know, delayed in terms of pace. It's going to be a much, much slower pace moving outwards versus what we're seeing within the city limits. So in this case, AT&T expanded fiber in uh, Rockdale County. And they, you know, some AT&T representatives, they flew out, they met with the, the locals and they're, they're celebrating this expansion. So the expansion now makes AT&T's fiber network available to more than 1,600 additional customers, locations in part of, uh, part of Rockdale County. These new locations are in addition to the more than 15,000 customer locations that already have access to fiber. Again, they added 1,600 new customers to its fiber footprint. Now, how much that, that cost AT&T to get to that 1,600? Probably a lot. But regardless, those are 1,600 addresses that didn't have fiber, for, fiber before that AT&T is now competing at with their best product. So that's where, that's what they're focused on. That's where they're going. And now with Verizon, like I said, getting a new CEO, maybe he'll shake some stuff up, make some moves of his own. It's going to be very interesting to see how AT&T does, you know, comes back and combats any of that competition on the wireless side. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See you in the next one. Peace.